This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be transforming this Febreze candle holder into a beautiful um, vase for Valentine's Day. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be painting this white. I'm going to do two uh, coats of Apple Barrel white paint, and it's an acrylic paint. And let me show you this napkin. So I thought this napkin had a ton of hearts on it. And then when I opened it up, look at this, only a few hearts. But I still can use some of the hearts from this. So I'm going to be cutting some of these out and then I'll adhere them uh, to my glass container. Okay, so my next step is to figure out which portion of this napkin I want to use. Like I had mentioned before, um, the napkin is kind of misleading because it makes it seem like the whole napkin is going to be like this. But I'm going to just pick out certain hearts and I'm going to cut it out before I separate the napkin. This is more than likely a two-ply napkin, so it has another layer. But before I even separate the napkin from the layers, I'm just going to pick out the hearts that I want. I definitely want the red because I'm going to be putting some red roses in here. I might do this light pink. So let's see. My container is all dry. I'm going to put a heart here. So I need at least one, two. I want to put one here on the curve there. So one, two, three. Four hearts I think would do, would do good. So let's see which ones. That pink heart is nice, but it's not a whole heart. It's like a little piece cut off there, but that's okay. You can still use it. But I think I'm going to go with this. Uh... Now, here's one of the other things you can do. I usually do the ripping method where I kind of rip whichever image I want. But I want these to be pretty close to... Um, where you almost don't see the outline. But I think I'm just gonna leave a tiny little white outline around it. And you're really not gonna see it much when I put it on my container. So you'll see, it's, it's a little bit harder to uh, explain it. Now if I want, I can do, I can go right up right up to the edge of that heart if I wanted to because I don't mind fussy cutting but I want to see what happens when I do this. So still keeping the heart shape and having that white outline on there. I think it should work out pretty good. I just want to show you the first one and then I'll go ahead and cut out the other ones off camera. Okay, so you see how that is? Just like that. Now, to separate it, you can wet your fingertips and pull it apart. Some napkins come apart a lot easier. So now look, I'm just separating this. Separating that. Now, if you don't pull off this other part, a lot of you ask me what happens if you just leave it on. It will be extremely wrinkled and it'll start to bunch up and you can see a lot of bubbles underneath these it. But if you pull away that layer, um, you'll get a really nice smooth surface once you apply this on. And you'll see what I'm talking about. And ask me how I know because I've done that before. So that's the first heart. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the others and then we'll come back and, and part, put them on with our Mod Podge. Okay, so now for the fun part. So I was going to use this blush pink, but I didn't think it would show up as much as these darker pink ones. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. I already removed all the backs from these. Let's go ahead and start putting this together. Do you see how that is? That's why I want to position it. Let's see the red one up here. I'm actually going to put the pink one in the front. Okay, so now this is the matte finish Mod Podge. 
And I just usually pour it into a bowl. I'm gonna take my sponge, sponge brush <laughs> and then don't forget to use the cellophane. The cellophane is going to help you to spread out your um, image. You don't wanna use your fingers to do that. So let me show you how I do this. And that plastic wrap or cellophane wrap, um, or otherwise known as saran wrap, you can just get a store brand. You don't have to buy a fancy, expensive brand. Just get a store brand. So I'm just putting some Mod Podge where I want my image to go. You don't need a whole lot, but you want to make sure it's covered. That whole area is covered where you want your image to go. So let's see if that'll fit. Yep, right, right there. So now that I put this on, I'm going to use the saran wrap. So this is where that step comes in. And I'm just smoothing it out. And notice I'm not smoothing it this way. I'm kind of going towards from the center out. Starting in the center and then just going outward. And look at that, your first one is on. And so I usually let that dry for a little bit before I go on with the other coat. But you, the thing is you do not want to touch this with your finger. And I'm just kind of pressing it out. It has a few little tiny wrinkles, but I'm not really concerned with that. But look how good that looks. So this is a great way if you're really kind of starting to Mod Podge or Decoupage, just take smaller images and apply it on a white background. And look how that color really stands out against that white paint. So the whole thing is now, you don't wanna to touch this because it's still, it's still drying. If you touch it, you could actually end up ripping it. So now I'm gonna start on this area here. I'm gonna put my red heart right there. So apply a little Mod Podge. Covering that whole area. And I try to go in the same direction. So I'm really looking to see how this matte finish Mod Podge is going to dry. This is the one I'm using. I really want to see how that's going to dry on here because this is my first time using it. Okay, so I'm going to position it right about there, and now I'm going to start smoothing it out. And you don't even see that white edge. Remember we were talking about that white edge possibly showing up on there? You don't even see it. I see it slightly. I don't know if you can really see it on camera, but you don't really see much of it, but it still looks good. All right, making sure I don't touch anything else there. Okay. our heart there. So imagine now I've taken a napkin that didn't have an entire image to cover like a whole project, but it still worked out just by using bits and pieces of it. And imagine you could do this on bottles, any of your containers that all those candle holders, imagine I imagine all the candle holders that you've thrown away. Now you can kind of reuse them and make something else out of it. And I get my napkins from Dollar Tree, but Tuesday morning has some really cool napkins as well. But also, 
uh, we have a store called Kroger. And so at the Kroger, you can get some nice ones too. And at Food Depot, I've seen some at Food Depot. So if you see an image that you like, um, some of the grocery stores have great napkins as well. So if you see an image you like, go ahead and get it. And they have a lot of themes too, theme napkins for different events. I am really liking the way this is turning out. So look at that. I just took that thing and just transformed it into something else. Let's make sure I hold it real good. Look at that. Look at that. This looks really good and I haven't even went over it with all my Mod Podge yet. So I'm going back to my original image. Now I'm going to give it a nice little coat of Mod Podge on here. Just to kind of finish it off. And I'm just doing this very gently. So just take your time. Enjoy the process. And just cover everything up. So look how cloudy that looks. When this dries, you're gonna, it's gonna be unbelievable how good it looks when it dries. So I like everything to look consistent, so I'm going over the entire thing. Taking my time, making sure this all looks consistent here. And I don't want the edges of this to come up, so that's why I'm being very careful when I go over those edges. Don't want the edges to come up. This is a great weekend project, something you can do quick. You want to make something for someone's birthday. You can use this as well, this idea. And it doesn't cost a whole lot. And handmade gifts are the best. Wow, I'm to the end already. So I'm just going over these little spots, just neaten it up a little bit. Okay, and when this is all done, I am going to start filling it with my flowers. Got some roses to put in here. So this is what we have all. So we're gonna let this dry and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so while I was waiting for this to dry and it's not completely dry yet, it's still in the drying process, I found some cute little gems that I had in my stash. Let me show you what those look like. It's like a string of gems. So I thought, you know what, why not cut that apart and just add a little bit of bling to this? Let's see. Let's make sure I can get this on here. Just in between each one. Right there. And the nice thing is that the Mod Podge will help to hold it on there. It's a great glue. I've used it before. right in between each one, just like that. Just seeing if it lines up all right. 
So always, if you want to add just a little bit of bling to your stuff, just go get some of those gems. Always find some kind of gems in your stash. So if I want, I can add a whole bunch more. I think that's good for me for right now. Look how cute that looks. It's going to look even better once it dries. Okay, so now I'm going to let this dry. Now we're going to go ahead and add our foam. And this is the foam that you get from Dollar Tree. It comes in like a pack of four. So I keep it real simple. All I do is I glue this down in here. So I'm just going to add some glue here. So I want this to be more permanent. If you don't, it's okay. You can just um, just kind of fit it down in there. Let me just show you. Just like this. It's got a nice flat surface at the bottom. And so because I want this, but if you wanted to get this out, you really could pull it and get it out. So if you wanted to change it out, but I'm going to leave it like this because I kind of want it to be permanent. Now, another thing you can do is you can put more foam in here, like around the edges, or you can put some moss in here if you want to cover this up. So it's just up to you, depending on what you want to do. Okay, so I've got these really pretty flowers, and these came from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on, the, on these, like just right on the stem, and just push it down in there. Real simple and easy. And I just want to make sure I've got my glue gun here and ready. So just very simple. Just put a little bit of glue. Just push it down in there. It looks really pretty with the little baby breaths in there. And if I need to add more flowers, I can. Just kind of covering up this area right around this, right around the top there. So as long as that's filled in, I'm good to go. Just pull it all the way in there. I want these flowers to really fit tight in here. Turn this around. Fit right down in there. Let's see. And if you don't want these to be permanent, you can you don't have to glue them down. I just like to have mine just a little bit more permanent in there. This is what we have so far, and I'm gonna still fill in more space over here. Let's see, I got some more flowers. Can't beat that price from the Dollar Tree. Cut a few more of these off. And I've got these other roses too. I think I'm going to just throw these in there because they're a little bit smaller than the others, but I think it'll be just fine. So this is basically just kind of put some of these into the spaces where you want to fill in. It really looks good, especially with the, the gems on there. How cute that looks with the gems. And I'll get a really good picture so that y'all can see what it looks like. And these really dried nice. I, I like it has a tiny bit of a gloss to it, even though it says um, that it's a matte Mod Podge, but it's just not as shiny as the other one. But I do like it. Okay, and you can do pink flowers, you can do white, you can kind of mix it up. You don't have to do roses. I think this will look really cute sitting on someone's desk. Okay, and then I have these little picks here. I've had these for a while. All I did was I just took took it and added a gem to it to match. And then I could just kind of put this in here. 
Or you can make a nice little sign that comes over the top. So just finding some room in there and push that in. Add some pink to this. Let me turn that around just like that. So this I'm not putting any glue on because I could always take them out, change it around a little bit. And so there goes the other one. So it just depends on what you want to do. You can add a bunch of these. Um, I have a ton of these little heart picks. And so that's what it looks like right now. Um, if you want to get even more detail in there, you can. I'm really loving the way this turned out. You can have stuff coming way out of the top. This would look nice as one of those like candy um, bouquets. I think that would look really nice too. So I hope you got a few ideas from this. I hope you were inspired. Um, give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.